One other great feature of Remotely Possible is that it can be used uh, both in landscape mode and even upside down. One thing to remember is that when you're in layout mode, you actually get a different layout than you would get if you were in standard mode. So if we go into our buttons here, you can see that we're actually spaced out differently because uh, it's more appropriate for this um, screen resolution. And from here, you can actually edit um, your buttons, and you see that there's actually specifically a, a landscape layout that can be edited versus the normal portrait layout. One feature of Remotely Possible we'd like to point out is the ability for the iPod Touch to sync its volume with the volume of the remote PC using the hardware buttons on the side. So if you look in Remotely Possible under Options, there's a choice here to sync volume with iPod Touch. This is disabled by default so as to not surprise people um, with syncing their, their hardware vo volume to their PC, but it may, may be something you would like to do. So if you enable this, now you'll be able to actually control the volume on your PC using the hardware volume rocker on the device. So let's give a demo of that by starting off by launching Media Center. And from here, as I click up and down on the volume, and I'm going to move this over here so we can see the two side by side, the volume on the device is actually now in sync with the volume on the PC.